Good afternoon, this is Ketty Davis. I wanna give you a benchmark update and hopefully an overview that will help you to get started in testing. First and foremost, our second graders have already done their benchmark using the tablets and an Illuminate online exam. Uh, they've taught us some information that's included here in terms of helpful tips and they've had great success in terms of uh, the process and getting results to students. In addition, some of your colleagues in grades three through eight are currently field testing uh, the very benchmarks we're going to talk about. So any input they have, we will email to you at the start of uh, next week in case they have some helpful tips or changes that we need to take care of. Preview of what's to come. For our benchmarking from this point forward, we're really looking at a growth model where we can measure where students are beginning the fall, where they move to in the winter in terms of growth around the standards so that we can predict and make adjustments and make them uh, make sure that they are ready for the summative exam in the spring. What that will look like for us this year is that we'll use an online exam in Illuminate. Our vertical team members were very helpful in looking at some current exams in Illuminate, making adjustments and suggesting some items to be replaced or added in. That's the first exam your students will take this fall. They'll take that exam again in the winter our timelines for testing are January for secondary and February for elementary. And during that testing window, they'll also take a written performance task. We do want to make sure that communicating reasoning and that inquiry work um, at an independent level is being captured. And this year, we're going to do that in the winter time. All of our students will take the XBAC exam in the spring, and that will be the third and final benchmark, if you will, for school year for students. While we're using the Illuminate exam, we are also going to be doing a uh, pilot exam and, and researching uh, the, the SBAC interim exam options, but we know those are very time intensive for teacher scoring. They require some uh, practice and training uh, to use the rubrics and score features, and so we want to use some time to do that this year, but we didn't want to be without information to you on how and to students on how they're doing with standards. And so these Illuminate exams will definitely serve that purpose for us. You can view the tests and the tutorials on the Central Ed Services website. You'll also have a DFA shared with you that is being developed right now specific to your grade level. It just has some helpful hints for you uh, for each grade specific feature and, and that's being done in the REA office at this time. All the resources we're gonna talk about can be found off the central website. And so if you and your team go to the central website to Ed Services, you'll get a screen that comes up and allows you to select the professional development and resources link. When you get there, the first line shows leadership, elementary and secondary. Select the grade span that you're a part of and as long as you're logged into our central Google account, you can get to all the files and folders, and one of those is the assessment folder, and that's where all the resources we're going to be talking about are located. The DFA that you'll be receiving will be a copy of the exam, and you can see it online right now in that Google folder. Uh, but we're working on that cover sheet to give you a couple of other helpful hints and, and resources, and so stay tuned for that to be coming. Your students um, will be assigned an exam, and you're going to assign your students to the exam following some instructions that are included as well in that tutorial location. And in essence, you're going to log into Illuminate. You're going to select assessments. You're going to search the term online. You'll find your grade level. And then you select online testing and add your students into test. For students to get onto their tablet to take this exam, they can either use a QR code or the button that should be on the tablet desktop. In second grade, we found some didn't have that icon on there, so they used the QR code in order to get to the testing site. Since second grade has tested, we have added the Google Plus feature so your students can actually simply click the red button at this point and it will log them into Illuminate using their Google password. They do need to be in, of course, in Google at that point um, to do that part of the work. If you want to see what the experience looks like for a student, maybe you want to see from screen to screen what will be happening, you can certainly use this resource that's on the website, and it's called a Student Portal Navigation Guide, and it does show you what the students will experience as they go through the testing. Um, our second graders didn't have this, and their teachers did not have this ahead of time. 
but for some, some of their input was they would have liked to have seen these features um, ahead of time. So know that that resource is there for you. There are a couple of items on the Illuminate exam that require you to take a look at them. The students will get results for all of the items that don't require your scoring, which is a majority of the test, immediately, as soon as they click Finish. For a few of them, you need to go back into the system and take a look at the rubric and assign a score. In most cases, they've input just an open-ended response, and you're selecting from a rubric scale of a 0 to 2. Uh, it's just a quick check on their responses, and you'll see on this chart uh, that it's somewhere between two and four um, real short answers that you are uh, scoring. And as soon as you score those uh, responses, the students receive those results and you do as well. In math, there's a couple of those. Now remember, those constructed responses and performance tasks will come as a separate uh, portion of the test in the winter months um, and will allow you to see independently how the students are doing on, on more extensive um, reading, writing, and communicating and reasoning. To grade those constructed responses, we've got a quick tutorial for you in that same Google folder that will walk you this, through the steps to see how that is done. Uh, you can either look at that ahead of time if you want to see what it'll look like or wait until you're ready to score and use it then. In addition, we want to let you know that in some cases of our second grade testing, some students forgot to click Finish when they finished testing. And so we've also given you uh, a handout to show how to double check that all your students have completed an assessment. It walks you through the steps in terms of looking online to see you've got 33 students in your class and only 29 are showing that they've tested. It'll show you which students are done and the other students just need to log back in and click the finish button and then they'll get the results and you'll get their results. That tutorial is included in the folder as well. You are doing a great job getting this year started teaching the students the, the responsibilities and standards that they need to have during the school year. We want this benchmark information to give you more information about where they are on the standards, knowing that some of those standards have not yet been addressed in class this year, and so it's more of a pre-assessment tool, and we understand that. We know also that this window is going to be a little bit flexible because this is a new process for you. The window opens next week, and so we are racing to get those DFAs ready to you so you can begin. We know that, uh, that with it comes a dose of patience and then a lot of support as you need that, and we're here to help you with that. So we'd love for you to finish testing by October 23rd so that you can have it done uh, all within a, a two to three week period. We know that for some of you, something may come up along the way and we need to be flexible with you on that. So communicate with your tester and coordinator and ask us your questions. You can either reach uh, somebody on the phone by the phone number that's on the screen by calling our assessment office and Paula will be there to answer you. You can email Eric or you can email myself at kdavis at Central USD as well. We are here to help you and we're very thankful for vertical team uh, teacher time that have put into this and we're eager for you to get more information about how your students are doing in English language arts and math. Thanks for listening to this and we hope these resources will help you. Have a great afternoon.